Hello there, all of you epic gamers. Now, um, it's just a little different one tonight. Um, the first Contenders League Cash Cup has just concluded. I um, it's the first tournament I've ever officially participated in, and I must admit, I didn't do brilliantly. But for my first tournament, my first proper competitive gameplay, I'm quite happy with where I came. Um. You got four hours between four and eight pm BST um, to play up to fifteen games. Now I didn't even get to play all fifteen games. A lot of people didn't, because um, when you think about it, games can last up to twenty five minutes. In four hours, that's you're not going to play fifteen games. Um, as you can see, I played twelve games, got forty placement points, three eliminations, and no victories. 43 points now that i would honestly i personally feel that that is respectable um prizes were for top 20 and above so you had to be ridiculously high which we'll have a look at the leaderboard in a second but um bear in mind that this was competing across the entirety of the european region so anyone who plays in europe um and is in contenders league or above could play this tournament now as you can see the person who won Got 127 points, played 12 matches, won four of them, averaged five limbs per game. So you had to do reasonably well. The top five got the most of the money, which was at 114 points, 115 points, 119 points, 120 points, and 127 points. As you can see down the bottom, I got 43 points, which puts me in the top 10% of people in the EU, which might not sound brilliant, uh, top 10%. But it is respectable when you think about it. Epic Games announced the other day that Europe have recently been contributing over 50% of all the competitive players for Fortnite globally. So I'm in the top 10% of 50% of the global player base, which averages me out at sort of being around the top 20% global. So that puts things into perspective if i'm i didn't i wouldn't necessarily say i'm a professional fortnite player because i'm not I'm, i don't get money from it i never have and i probably never will i'm not good enough and i wouldn't even say that i'm really good at the game but i would say that i'm decent but this puts things into perspective if you can get 43 points that's top 10 percent. that's top 10 percent of 50 percent of the player base like I'm saying, top 20% of the global player base, that would then put you into perspective as you're a pretty good player. Like, that would basically mean that any time you go into a game of 100 people, there are 80 people in that game that are worse than you. And that's intriguing it's quite a shock to the system as you can see to get top 20 so to be paid you needed 96 points in this tournament uh, 20th did get 15 matches played fair play to them but as you can see their placement was low they averaged um placement of 31st so as you can see it was a weird tournament you had to either play for elims or play for placement but if you play for placement you risk not playing all your games which could then have a negative impact on your points. So it was a weird tournament. It was it's definitely different to some of the other tournaments they've done before, because normally you have the time to play all your games strategically, whereas this, it was a little bit rushed. I mean, I probably would have gotten all my 15 games, but I went off for uh, food halfway through, for, missed about 40 minutes of it. So I probably could have got in the other three games. And on average, I was averaging about four points a game, three and a half to four points a game, I potentially could have ended at around 53, 54, 55 points, which obviously wouldn't have been enough to get me any money, but it'd have put me further up there. So putting things into perspective, you may not be good at the game, but if you had a go at this tournament, A, you know how people are going to play in competitive Fortnite. You've got a grip, you've got grips for that now. B, you've had practice. It's, Every time you do one of these competitive Fortnite games, they it'll push up your own gameplay, make you better as a gamer. 
which basically means that over the seven weeks you should see progression as your points go up and up and up each week um unless of course there is a bad week for some reason um but the third the third and final thing that you should that you might be seeing is that it should affect your normal gameplay as well if you can handle scrims and end game moving zones 10 people you can if you can handle things like that in a tournament you can handle it in a normal game and the chances of you seeing it in a normal game are so much lower so you have that advantage of if it comes to it you know how to do it but it shouldn't come to it so you should be getting easier gameplay so it was anyone that played this it was worth you playing it um i'd love to know how many points you all got down below in the comments and uh, what position you came in and what servers you played on as well um thanks for watching this little video and i hope you all did well in your own tournaments thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one